Hey guys, Myth Crashers here. So we've gotten a lot of complaints from people who can't stop their friends from drinking and driving. Apparently they get too stubborn and won't hand over the keys. So we're going to help out some of these folks and show you how you can stop these situations from happening to you. Myth Crashers style. Hey Myth Crashers. So recently I bought my girlfriend a breathalyzer for her birthday. I figured it'd be a good thing to have, right? But uh, she doesn't use it. You know, I wake up to her in the middle of the night. She's coming home. She's drunk. And then I find out she's been driving herself home. So, I figured you guys might be able to help me out with this problem. All right, I'm here with Vincent. Uh, Jessica's in the bars right now, drinking away the night. So, uh, in case she tries to drink and drive, we got a little plan to stop her. Think about, uh, what, a thousand feet of saran wrap ought to do the trick? Woo! All right, we're done here. Let's do this. That's gotta that's be her, her right? That's, her. that's okay. definitely her. Oh, let's go, let's go. Wait for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, that uh, didn't take too long, I guess. She kind of just gave up there. <laughs> well, let's go get her, man. Hey, baby. Time to wake up. You can get your car in the morning, Jess. Oh. I guess that's a wrap. <laughs> Sorry, this bro. I put it that way because that's the way he acts. He drinks way too much, falls asleep for an hour or two. When he wakes up, he thinks he's good to drive just because he slept for an hour or two. I need some help with this. Morning, everybody. We are outside of the house that Randy and his friend were partying in last night. And uh, Randy just sent me this. Pretty silly video. Check it out. Number 10! All right, so apparently that was at about 6.30 this morning, then Randy's friend walked into the living room and promptly passed out. Randy's told me that his friend has somewhere to be at about nine o'clock and is just after eight, so they should be coming out any minute. Uh, but we'll see how far he gets, considering the little trick we left in his car for him. Should be. Oh, let's go. Come on, man. You're still drunk. Let me drive you home. Dude, I am not drunk. I slept it off, okay? Yeah, for like two hours. Let me give you a ride. Come on. Do I look drunk to you right now? Seriously. Yes. I'm driving. Oh, slow. You're welcome. So my boyfriend is always trying to act like he's in control of everything. And he swears to me up and down that he's always good to drive. So I want to do something crazy to keep him from ever driving drunk again. You heard her. Oh god, they've only got five minutes left of that game. I'm gonna lose. You've been drinking too much. I don't think you should drive. Babe, I've already told you. I drive great when I'm drunk. Hey man, I think she's right, dude. I don't think you should drive. You uh, you do look a little tipsy. Dude, who the hell are you? And where is my car? He's right. Huh. Well, I was afraid you'd ask. Dude, that's my car! Yeah. Put it down! Well, you heard him! Drop it! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Alright guys, we've had some fun today, but drinking and driving is a serious matter. So if you have a friend that's planning on drinking and driving... Be a good friend and do whatever it takes to stop them. <laughs> <laughs>